working together on renovating the cottage for a month. Yeah, and things are really bouncing along. Oh my god, my boobs just jiggled so much <laughs> that like I've stopped sawing and they're still going. <laughs> We've already started work on renovating the kitchen, but while it's under construction, this gourmet dad has been reduced to using a wooden spoon and a hot plate. What are you making, Dad? I am making my soon-to-be-famous barbecue sauce. Here in cottage country, the annual summer rib fest is a really big deal. So it's the perfect place to test out my own barbecue sauce. And if that goes well, you could turn your sauce into a cottage business. Yeah. Well, you know, I do have a few connections in the food industry. Mm -hmm. That's not such a crazy idea. And in true McDermott form, it's already become a family operation. Should we put a little bit of this? Sure. Mister. Ooh, how's the sauce coming? It's coming along. And Daddy's secret ingredient. Tequila? Yeah. That sauce is gonna be sassy. Stir it up, good girl, Stella. You wanna put in a little more garlic powder, buddy? There we go. Give it a stir. That's good. Mm. Mm. Okay, let me taste. Ooh! It has kick! Right, but the kick comes kick. later. You feel the tequila up front? Mmm. Yes. I taste it, you and then it gave me a little swift kick to my palate. I like that. See, well, it's good. It's delicious. It's different. It's I like it. It's really good. Okay, awesome. That's tasty. Hey, Hattie, do you like spicy? That's so cute. How is it? Is it spicy, Mama? She likes it. Do you like it? Is it good, Mama? She loves but... it. <laughs> Give it to Hattie. She'll try anything. <laughs> oh God. Dad, please don't let me get messy because this is well. from a rib fest. <laughs> Here's what Dad's thinking. I'm thinking that we have a little business on our hands. I make the sauce, you help me season it, and Stella will make the labels, and we got ourselves a little business. I think it's a good idea if Dad yeah. makes a barbecue sauce and just calls it Dad's. Yeah. All right, buddy, let's go get our rib fest on. I can always count on my family's seal of approval, but it would be awesome to impress some serious barbecuers. Oh, wow, look at all the vendors. Holy ribs. Stella, you excited for some ribs? Yeah. Yeah. I can already see it. Dad's barbecue sauce. The shelves everywhere. Stay positive, babe. Oh, thanks, babe. <laughs> Deep fried cheese bars, come on. Deep fried what? Deep fried cheese bars? Um. I'm not here for the cheese. We're here for the ribs, right? I'm suddenly here for a deep fried cheese bar. Sorry. Yeah. Can we just get a deep fried cheese bar on the way to the ribs? Please, please, come on, come on. What else? Are you getting deep fried cheese? You are. It sounds. Have you had it before? Yeah, I had it last year. Is it fantastic? It's really good. Oh my gosh. Patsy and I and Liam will go set you up with the table. Okay, we'll be right there. You got the last one that I paid for, and you can have it. Oh my God, I've you. Had it before. No. Yeah, I've had them before, so you can have one. No, no, why don't we split it? it? Okay, we'll split it. Okay. <laughs> See, we are in Canada. In LA, people aren't that nice. They would have taken their deep fried cheese and ran. And ran with it? Yes. I really appreciate that. That was really nice of you. Sorry. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you so You're much. Right. Bye. Oh, what's good. <laughs> That's so good. After my first taste of Rib Fest, I can't wait to see the other attractions. But becoming one of them isn't exactly what I had in mind. It was really exciting to see Tori and Dean, and it's wonderful to have them here. The last time I saw Tori Spelling was on Beverly Hills 90210, and I had a little crush on her. Where is Dave? There he is. My friend Dave is the current Rib Fest champion, and he's going to show me how to cook like one. Okay, that's bone. Come yeah, on, baby. Lucky rock. <laughs> yeah, that's tricky, man. That's, yeah. This guy's awesome. That is no small feat, I'm telling you. You just get the rhythm of it eventually in it. Yeah, you've done this a few times. Two, three, four, five. Beautiful. New task, so we're going bone side down. Bone side down. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that one was a little better. Yeah. I think I found my calling. Guys, I have to leave. Leave the line for a second. I want to sure. grab that sauce. Wow. All right. So my little girl made the label. Nice. <laughs> nice. We can use this mop to mop the sauce on. We'll see what it's like when it caramelizes on the ribs. Yeah. I'd love that. Oh, wow. That's good. It smells pretty good. And like, be, be totally honest. Like, 
don't pull any punches, cause just cause we're friends. I mean, you're you're the masters. What do you think? Taste time? Sauce it up and then uh, bang, 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 bang. Hey, babe. Hey, hey baby. Hi guys. Hi. It's the moment of truth, babe. I got my barbecue sauce going. Okay. Might be a little hot. They just okay. came right off the grill. Babe. Yep. Oh my God, it's delicious. What do you Daddy's think? ribs. Pretty. And the verdict is. I'm testing my barbecue sauce at a local rib fest. I got my barbecue sauce going. Babe, it's the moment of truth. And my friend Dave, who is a barbecue champion, is tasting it. So it's a little nerve wracking. You could be the Paul Newman of barbecue sauce. You think? Yeah, why not? Oh my God, it's delicious. So what do you think? Yeah, ribs. Pr pretty? Make it spicier even. A little more spicy, okay. You gotta kick it up with something else. I would say it needs a little more kick. It wasn't bold enough. I thought overall it was good sauce. Did you taste his sauce? Oh yeah, it's great. I think you should get some other uh, comments though and feedback from the crowd. Uh, for sure. Can you do that? Can we go ahead? Sure, no problem. I'll let you know how I do. All right. If you see a whole bunch of people chasing me out of the park, okay. it didn't go well. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> let me know what you think, grab a stick. That's great. Honest? Okay, awesome, awesome. Babe, I'm two for two. Hey, my husband just made a sauce. Would you like to taste it? Liam, come on. Tell, tell me you got to taste. No, it's good. He's good. He likes it. Awesome, he likes I love it. it. We got a winner over here, babe. That is good. Yeah, it's nice. Oh, yeah. That's good. It has tequila in it, actually. Oh, so that's the oh, secret of good. <laughs> there you go, sir. <laughs> Have fun. Someone driving him home? <laughs> that was actually really, really, really good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. That's really awesome. Good. Do you want to try some, baby? I like how it has a kick in it. It has a kick to it? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. There Thanks, buddy. Next time I see Dean, he'll probably have a booth, and he'll be right next to me going head to head with me. I don't know if I can dethrone Dave, but when I get back to LA, I'm definitely going to take the business idea more seriously. You could say it's food for thought. One thing is for certain, we have to get this kitchen finished so I can start cooking again. Yeah, and I have the perfect design idea. You're gonna love it. No, 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 no. I, I thought the kitchen was my project. No, yeah, it is, babe. I think that's an interesting thing. This one piece will make 52 layers. Watch on mobile devices or the big screen. All for free, no subscription required. Babe? Yeah? These floors, I hate them. I literally want to take the lake and bring it indoors. What would you think? What are you talking about? Lake blue, right here on your floors. <laughs> you know how I always pick one thing, and that's how I decide, right? Yeah. It can be something tiny, and that's what I go with. Well, I'm going with the lake. The blue should be our focal point in here. Mm -hmm. I hate these I floors, to too, but money. blue? Yes. It's a great way to repurpose them without having to change your hardwood floor. Would you do your floors in blue? I don't think so. I'm sorry, you guys. I am so excited. I'm telling you, this is going to be major. This is going to be so unbelievable. OK. So yes, Tori got her way. Blue floors it is. So long as Tori doesn't change her mind. This is looking straight. This is looking wiped this way. Staining the floors is really exhausting, so I would love it if you helped. I am helping. I'm supervising. Hello. It looks different when you have long strokes going with the grain bit from standing back here. Right there. What, what are you talking about? You think I'm going like this? I, did, I just went like that there. All right. I've been going lengthwise. This all looks the same. So that one streak right there. This inside looks like it's taking a splotchy. It's taking different. Simba. You're, it looks that way because you're seeing these. Like There's no way in. you can see how I wipe that in a circle. I don't see a circle, but I see it going this way a little bit and taking more in places than when you went up and down. I don't know what you're seeing, Dave. Honestly, I don't. No, I think what you were doing I... was look good. I'm doing the exact same thing. I, know. I don't know what you're talking about. You cannot tell me there's a difference. I see a difference. When you do go this way with it, I see it like take differently. There's no 
way humanly possible. When you go with the grain, I see it differently. I'm just saying. I could do this, the whole thing this way mm -hmm. against the grain, and it look exactly the same way as if I went with the grain. It's all about the amount of stain that gets in the wood, babe. Okay, can we ask Justin to come in? Yes, and please, please. Justin? Justino! Come here, can we dude. ask you a question? Yeah. Okay, don't feel partial to taking anyone's side. Doesn't matter. It's one of these. Do you think when we do the paint that it takes or looks any different if you go lengthways with the grain or if you just rub it around? Uh, typically, I rub wood the grain just to get it in. But no, it's not the question of getting it in. She says it looks different when I go against the grain as opposed to going with the grain. Well, you want to go, you want to get it in the grain, right? Because that's the whole point. You can rub it out to even it uh, in a circular yeah, motion thank you. afterwards. Thank but, you. But, but so you're both bottom right, line, That's it's fine. all about spreading it evenly. Can you see that I did a little section of swirl in here? No, not really. No. See that darker spot right And you want to go darker. I think it should look. I think it's... Uh, I'm done with her. I have to say... You're done with her. She's all yours. We're redoing our kitchen. And before the counters go in, we have to restain the floor. I see a difference. There's Further no way in. you can see how I wipe that. But as always, Tori has a unique way of doing things. We're done with her. I have to say. You're done her. with her. She's all yours. Babe! You want dark? You want dark? You want, I... My gut says I want a little bit more of a pop. And I'm sorry, I know it's. Wait a second, it's a blue floor. You want more pop? It's a blue floor. I've never seen a blue floor before. You mm -hmm. That's a pop in itself. To me, I think I might want it a bit richer. I want blue floors. I'll, I'll do whatever you want, as long as you're happy. No, 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 I, in here, I want to compromise. We kind of always do this when we get into design stuff, and it's just like. it's not even fair. I pitched you the blue floors. So you pitched the blue floor idea, and I have no say in it then? No, you have complete say. But we do this all the time with but paint it's... color and whatnot. You ask my opinion. At the end of the day, I just relent and give you what you want. So it really doesn't matter. Yeah. I've got to learn just to say, shut up and just do it. No, I, I want you to weigh in and then do it my way. Ha! <laughs> I'm really not sure about this system. I think we need a new system. E. The cottage really doesn't have space for a laundry room. Without a washing machine, we have a huge issue. Four kids. No biggie. We'll wash our clothes in the lake. OK, that's funny. Local laundry mat, here we go. This reminds me of my bachelor days. And you can get everything done at once. I know, but with the family this size, it feels yeah. like we're making a million trips a week. Like, it's just a lot. Oh, you make oh, Hattie stay over on. here? Yeah. OK, Hattie, come help me take this out. She Hattie? take new ones and old this? ones. Good job. Don't put no, money in your no, mouth, no, no, Mama. It's dirty. dirty. <laughs> Baby. What do you do when you're uh, in a small town, in the laundromat? I, I feel like we're supposed to, supposed to be gossiping right now. But we don't know anybody to gossip I know. about. Excuse me. Are you from right, right around here? We just moved here. We feel like we're supposed to be the gossiping when we do our laundry. Can we gossip with you? Sure. What's the latest happening around yeah. here? Yeah. Is there, like, someone in town that's, like, causing, like, trouble? Not that I know of. There's no one? No. Shoot. It's a really nice, quiet area. Mm -hmm. I have no one to gossip about. I know. About. We have nothing to gossip about either, but we feel like we should. Um, I thought that's what people do at laundromats. I hate to break it to you, babe, but in this town, you are the gossip. Back at the cottage, the kitchen is starting to take shape. I'm so excited to get in there and rattle them pots and pans. Me too. Oh my gosh, these look amazing. The marble countertops are just like, woo! It was great. Justin, how long till we can touch these marble countertops? Because I'm like a kid in a candy store. I just want to like touch, touch, touch. I'm a tourist, so I like feel. Definitely not today. Probably. All day today. You, might, you might be able to touch them tomorrow. And, babe, I love your idea of the chalkboard. That's genius. Did you say I came up with something genius? No. I'm an over exaggerator, too. Oh, Didn't you know that? Wait. You know how I love barn boards, right? Mm -hmm. We were going to do shelves up here, right? What if we did shelves out of like floating barn wood? 
A what? Mm -hmm. I guess it'd be floating. We could put this. It'd be hard to make them floating. So the barnwood shelves. What would you think about taking some barn pieces and kind of outlining that there over the top? Too much? I don't know. Let's check it out. OK. While Justin's team races to finish the kitchen, we have a project to keep us busy for the rest of the day. Hanging the front door. Wait a second. We? Us? Yeah. Remember? I'm supervising. Oh, right. I forgot. You know what? I don't think I want it white either now that I see it up against the house. Okay. What are you thinking? I don't know. I feel like it should be a color. I feel like the whole house, the front is white. We have the black roof. What are you seeing blue? Which blue? <laughs> like the floor? Copy that. Would be nice. We've pushed Justin and his team pretty hard on this cottage reno, so we thought it would be a really nice gesture to cook them the first meal in the brand new kitchen. But if you keep changing your mind about this door, the boys are gonna go home hungry. I think these would have been better blue from the outside and white on the inside. What? <laughs> okay, um... I'm just worried it's gonna be a little too, like, the blue floor's like, it's like too matchy. On the outside, it's perfect because it ties the outside. We have pops of our blue, and you walk in, and there's our blue floors. On the inside, it could be a bit much. OK, do me a favor. Yes. And just paint this blue, okay. just this board going across And blue. then we can see. Gosh, I know. Yeah, I think it's too much. It's not, mm -mm, it's not right. Whatever I decide, you promise not to be mad? I'm sorry. The blue floor is like too matchy. On the outside, it's perfect because it ties the outside. We have pops of our blue, and you walk in, and there's our blue floors. On the inside, it could be a bit much. We are so close to getting these doors painted and finishing the kitchen. But there's just one teeny tiny itsy bitsy hiccup. Mm hmm. You. Gosh, I know. Yeah, I think it's too much. It's not, mm -mm, it's not right. Whatever I decide, you promise not to be mad? To be honest with you, baby, I'm too tired to be mad. I know what the right decision is. You want the white. I'm sorry. So, um, so we'll let this dry, then we'll start painting white. And then I feel like it might need a bit of a gloss to them, like a subtle gloss. No. Why does it look like that? Oh, it's not finished. We got to trim it out and stuff. It's not done. No, 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 it's just, like, very inconsistent, the paint. Like, oh, it maybe. needs a couple no, more no, coats. Oh, maybe. No, no, that's the first coat. OK. Oh, yeah, it needs a couple coats. Oh, okay. yeah. All right, I feel like it needs a bit of a shine added on afterwards. Is that OK? I'm all about yes. I like the blue. It definitely, I feel like the house needed it. I mean. You want to put a little blue trim around the windows? I think that's too much. Too it's much? nice okay. they just have a, a cute little houses in the country, and they have, like, sure. a red door. Yeah. They don't have red sure. frames. Yes. Sure. Stop sure. it. I wish you always said, sure. Like, look at you. I wish totally you always said them. yes, too. Yeah, right? Wah, 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 wah. You're super cute. <sighs> I don't know how I got myself into this about saying yes, but I better pay off. That's all I can say. You know what? Saying yes a whole bunch was totally worth it because this kitchen is amazing. I know. I'm so excited to supervise you cooking in it. And after all of Justin and his crew's hard work, we're saying a big thank you by rustling up some grub. To the kitchen. To the kitchen. Bottom, bottom, bottom to, the to the top, right. to the kitchen. Ring the bell. The dinner's ready. Come and get it. Hey! All right, Thank guys. Good job, Eddie. Thanks. That looks awesome. Beef. Oh yeah. Beef. Beef. And pork. A couple of pork. Oh yeah. Wow. Yes, sir. I know we got I'd love to hear that. <laughs> I'd love to hear that. That's my boy. A little cauliflower going here. Daddy, what's on it? You remember, you know, Daddy's special curry chicken? Napkin. It's got curry cream sauce on there, like the chicken I make for you. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, you're right. Just like this steak, right? Ah. <laughs> More beer, boy? I'm going to eat. Sure. Yes, please. Yes, please. Hurry up Holy cow. That's good sauce. Food. You like it? Oh, yeah. I made that sauce, man. Mm -hmm. That's a Dino special barbecue sauce. Here. Is it? Yeah. Oh, this is good food. Nice, brother. Good job, babe. It's delicious. Oh, my god, look at Man-Man. Man. She's yeah. eating ribs. You having ribs? 
His first rib. Eat your bowl. You love it? Oh, it's so good. Finn's licking his bowl. That is so good. Thanks, buddy. Mm, taste those, yeah. I, mm. I could hear that all day long. <laughs> Boys, we better slow down in our construction so the dean has a chance to feed yes. us again. <laughs> I like that idea. It's a pleasure to cook for you guys. Thank you guys so much for all your Cheers. hard work. It's amazing. Cheers. So thank you. And guys, thank you. Thank you for all your hard work and all your talent. Anytime. Hey. Cheers, boys. Our pleasure. Yeah, our pleasure. Hey, watch it. Want to see me dance? Yeah, I do want to see you dance. Yeah, go, Liam. Yeah, let's see it. Liam. Go, Liam. I'll break it down. I'll break it down, Liam. I'll break it down. I'll break it down, Liam. I'll break it down. It's another beautiful day in cottage country, and the McDermott's are out in the wild for a hike. I'm proud of you, babe. I never thought you were the hiker type. What do you mean? I totally played a hiker in a TV movie once. Oh, wow. How great is this? Oh, I should have brought my fishing rod. It would be nice <laughs> to sit there and go fishing. Isn't that cool, Mama? Mitzi, well, stay with us. Hold on to the tree, everybody. Yeah. Good idea. What's that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, stand back, stand back. Snake skin. Snake That's skin. That's so oh cool. Cool. Wait, does that mean the snakes are right around here? There's snakes all over here, baby. But the snakes, they feel our vibrations, and they take off you before sure? you even see them, yeah. Wait, this one just shed its skin. Really? That's really cool, buddy. You like snakes, right? That is ginormous. It's a big, oh he's a good size. That's no snakes a here, big baby. snake. It looks pretty thick. Let's take that one. Oh my god, Mitzi, get away from the edge. Deer. Oh, she's OK. Let's go I over here. I think Bear wants a snack or a drink. We should. Yeah, you want a drink, bud? I want a snack and a drink. All right. Beautiful. Dad, you guys are arguing are about who gets which water bottle. And look how bottle. beautiful this Dad, is. Dad, buggy, drink that one. This is not mine. I hate black. That one's mine. This you guys, is black. They That's both it. have the same thing in it. They both have water in it. It does not matter. It doesn't matter. Right. Papa? Mitzi. 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 Stop it. Hi. Hi. Sorry. It's OK. Listen, I, uh, I don't want to alarm everybody, but there's been some bear sightings on the trail recently. What? Um, oh, my gosh. But I just, I know you got some little people with you, so I just thought I'd mention. So just make sure you keep everybody close by. Should we put our food away? You know what? It's probably not a bad idea. What happens if a bear crosses our path? What do we do? Oh, you just play dead. No, no, just, no, just, just stand up tall and look, look big and, and back off slowly and. Like stand up, like stick my boobs out. <laughs> yeah, no, that'll attract the bear. That's just stand up tall, and confident. Yeah. What Keep do your babies you really close do, in front of you, right? I mean, what do you do? Yeah, uh, on, honestly, I mean, you're 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 more likely to be killed by a falling vending machine than attacked by a bear. It just doesn't happen. Oh my God, what if that could happen? Just, I appreciate you telling us, but you told the wrong person. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. This yeah. may end our yeah. hike. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, listen, I, I'm Thank a great day, guys. Thank you. Have yeah. fun. Bears in the woods? That is definitely the wrong thing for Tori to hear. Babe, we, I think no, we should go. Babe, we're fine. Mom, the park ranger just said that there's bears being sighted here. Like, I feel like we should head back. Can we at least finish our snack and then go? No, uh -oh. he said to put the food away is what he said. OK, I think we had our moment. We're like, ooh, beautiful. OK, but there's bears. So okay. let's, uh, we should go now. Uh -oh. OK, OK, we'll go. I get it, baby. We'll okay. go. I'm a mama bear. Of course, I'm protective of my cubs. In fact, the only bear I want to be around is my baby bear, Finn. All right. Mama. Babe, it's a hike, not a sprint. I want to get us back to the car. OK, we cut our hike short because of the bear, but like we could still enjoy our trip on the way back. I'm scared to death inside. No, don't go ahead of me. Okay. Let me go first. And besides, he came from the other way. I'm doing what the park ranger said. I'm walking like this, very confident. Sure. Large and in charge? Yeah. Okay, stay We're close, Liam. Sure. Come on, you. I thought this was going to be terrifying, but it turned out to be really fun. I'm yeah. on the lookout. Did you There's see poo? No bears. Yeah. Was it bear poo? Yeah. Did it stink? Yeah. No, it didn't stink? Yeah. <laughs> Patty said she saw bear poo. Don't get me started. And I see bear poo right now. Why are you trying to rile me up? <laughs> Despite the hike being a bust, the kids are finally getting into being outdoors. Back in the safety of our cottage, it's time to get to work on all the kids' bedrooms at the same time. 
So we know the whole family's going upstairs. That we know. Yes. Master. We know we're going in the master. That's going to be sunroom's master now. Patsy and Bear Bear. Ben and Patsy. OK. That's Patsy's room there, and our master's there. You know what we're going to hear. Snoring. <sighs> Babe, you would hear her snoring if she was downstairs, if she was in the garage. You would hear her snoring if she was in the middle of that lake. <laughs> I know. I would do Hattie in this room, because we and Stella want to share a room. OK. OK, guys, we're designing your room now. So what we're going to do, because you guys have very different opinions. You like being in the same room, but you want your own thing. You want your own thing. You want boy. You want girl. And I want mine pink. We split the room. We usually give ladies a little bit more kind of space and more curbs. And men are kind of straight and edges. So follow my lead. Oh. Liam, what would you think if in here, my friend, you had your mini man cave to go with your room. Ooh. And then Stella McDermott, over here, my friends, I'm going to build you a kitchen and a tea party. What do you think about that? Yeah. OK. Can I get a high five? Stella's getting a kitchen over here. Yes. See everyone okay. else? OK. Recap. We do a Stella side. We do a Liam side. And then we have a whoop, whoop dance party side over here. OK. And ready? And this is our dance party. Go, Stella. Go, Stella. Go, 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 Stella. Because all three bedrooms are being done at once, the only place to sleep is going to be our bedroom. You got to get everything out of your room. Or we could go camping. It'd be great for the kids to sleep under the stars. And get eaten by bears? No way. The only stars we'll be sleeping under are glow-in-the-dark stickers. Let's just lean it against the wall for now. OK. Well, hold on. That big one's going to take up half uh, the room. What do we do? Maybe we just make an entire mattress floor. Her crib has to go in here, too. He's sleeping in here. I mean, the babies are going to wake each other up. She snores all night. There's no way. How is this going to work with I'm gonna two babies? I'm going to walk around, make two bottles, under change two in diaper. here. Well, how are we getting out of here once we're all in here? That's it. It's going to be a mess. Can we just try? Can we just try one night? I don't know. I'm just trying to do the best I can with what I have. You know? Justin, how fast can we get these floors done so we can get back in the rooms and paint the walls? Tops three days in here. Fine. Let's try it in here one night. Deal? Deal. OK. Fine. OK. Remember when this all seemed like a really good idea when we were leaving LA? I thought it was a good idea, because you guys always have a good idea. But this one is kind of shaky. You know, got to admit, I don't know how many wives would put up with this, doing this reno, living with it, living in it. But it's like, hey, babe, let's go to Canada. And let me take you up into the woods, and let's do a renovation in the middle of nowhere and live with the bugs and the dust and the, and the drywall. And she's a keener, total keener. Aw, babe, I heart you too. I slept You great. were snoring last night at pizza. That bad? You were in a deep sleep, let's just say that. Oh. oh my gosh, you were snoring so loud. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, the kids were laughing at you. Ooh. And Liam was nudging you? <laughs> <laughs> Dean's like, nudge her and she'll stop. <laughs> Hi. We saw the bear at the dumpster. A real bear up no. there. Oh. Bears. What do you mean? <sighs> We saw a bear at the dump. There were bears at the dump. Yeah. For real? Yeah, they were at the dump all the time. That's not even funny, babe. I'm like, not it's joking. one thing. We went hiking and, like, there's bears. That place is like an hour away. The oh, dump's five no. minutes from us. They are headed towards us. Babe, come on. We have nothing to offer them like the dump has to offer them. I mean, it's like a buffet, right? The dump is like a buffet to a bear. They're not all of a sudden going to come over to Tori and Dean's place and eat our kids. No, we're not going to the dump anymore. We're going to Tori and Dean. The only kind of bear that I want to know about or have anywhere near us 
is our little bear bear right there. Bear bear, that's it. I'm just You're not. Sorry, I'm from LA, I'm not used to bears. And, and now it you. feels like they're coming closer and closer to our home. I hate to break it to you, babe, but this is cottage country, and, you know, we have to share the land with all creatures, big and small. Well, I'm not gonna let those bears beat me down. In fact, I'm gonna let them be a source of inspiration for our baby bear's bedroom. Oh. Babe. No. Bear cave. That's adorable. We should get it, right? Totally. How about okay. this on the door? Welcome. Welcome. Love it. A huge stuffed bear would freak Finn out, right? Do we have the room? No. I think okay. we're good here. I think we're good. And then bear's room. Whoa. I'd rather get attacked by a bear. What a catch. I think we're done shopping for now. This is a perfect cottage day. It's super hot. Not a cloud in the sky. Bears. Bears, babe. Pull over, bears. Oh, <gasps> the bears. Wait, wait, wait. Hi. Hello, how are you? I am excellent now. I see you have bears. You oh like the gosh. bears? We have four kids yes. together. And our baby, his name is Finn. We call him Bear. Uh, the bear is a symbol in the Aboriginal culture. It's a guardian, it's a protector, it's a healer. Bear will protect your business, your home, your cottage. That sounds like our bear. That just warmed my heart. Guy so he's going to be us. the protector of our family, number four, huh? Well, he's just a little guy right now. He's a cub. But he's he, will, cub. he will grow to be a Bruin. He is my little protector. OK, can I look at all your bears to see which one speaks to me? Go right ahead. They're all individual. But it's great. They all have different expressions. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I There's just got giddy when you. I saw the tree trunk one. Look. Ooh. Ooh. Ojibwe word for bear mm -hmm. is makwa. Makwa? Makwa. We'll take them. We'll take makwa. OK, before you take them, I need a moment with the bear. You need a moment with the bear? Yes, because I have to take time to let him know that he has to be a good bear for the family that he's going to. OK. All right, Makwa. We'll take love. OK. Miigwech, Makwa. Miigwech. OK. Good. OK, Makwa. Come on with us, fella. Oh, Makwa's heavy. <laughs> Makwa needs to go on a diet. <laughs> All right, Mr. Makwa, let's go home. Aw, bear, you're going to come home and meet bear. The kids' bedrooms are coming along very slowly, so I guess that means at least one more night bunking up with the kids and Pats all together in one room. Cozy. Guarded. Shh. You're going to wake up the baby. Oh, man. Oh, that's disgusting. Is it cheaper? No. Still a McDermott. That smell came out of you. That's Small butt, big smell. Stop, stop me. Stop, stop. Oh, man. Oh, that's disgusting. Is it cheaper? No. Stella McDermott. Stop, stop me. Stop, stop. This is brutal. Seven people in one bedroom. I think I'd rather take my chances with the bears out there than the animals in here. <laughs> Serious. Oh, I, me too. I'm pooped. We just have the final pieces for the kids' rooms to find, so we're going back to our favorite antique store. This is a quick shopping trip, agreed? Because there's no way that Patsy is sleeping in our room again. I'm exhausted. Done. Deal. This looks promising, Mama. OK, Stinkers. I love, like, somewhere. kitschy things like this. How much is this? You want that for your room? Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, you and Liam are sharing a room. I want it for our light. OK, so that's you like, nice. You, you like, like that? Clear? <laughs> I want it for our cottage. <laughs> they have great pieces here. They have really Mama, great stuff. Mom, let's go look OK, Mama. so let's go look inside. Yes? Come you on. like this tin? You open it. I hear something in it. <gasps> something rattling around in here. Wait, stand back. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I got you pretty good, good though, didn't I? You almost made me have a heart attack. 
Almost. Oh, gosh. But I didn't. Want... Mom, let's go look inside. We go inside okay. and look. Like, we, Wait, we've on. only. Oh, I just really want these fish bottles. Sometimes I forget how much Tori loves her antiques. And as much as I like to keep my wife happy, we have a serious deadline today. So let's go and find out what's inside. Uh -huh. And if we get a whole bunch of stuff, then we can start wheeling and dealing. I'm just so excited. Yeah. Oh, my God, you guys, they have so much good stuff here. No, I just want to, like, okay. pick up this scratch. entire place and move it back to L.A. We're going inside. See you later. Come see on you inside. Description. Wait, don't go inside without me. I want to see everything first. Look, here, I'll pick up this one for you. You know what these are, you guys? License plates. Good job. Oh, those are cool. Oh, they're all Canadian hey, license plates. Hey, look it. That's Daddy's birth year. Ooh, let's find it from... Wait, I want to find my year. Oh, look at the green oh. one. Dude. Dad, I want this for my room. I want this license plate. Hey, dude, what about this? Yeah. How about a headboard? Jeez. We'll have a whole bunch of license okay. plates right. there. So you have this, like, way. really cool headboard made out of He's license visual. plates. It's okay. Imagine the license plates are just, like, all over the headboard, and that's Full your headboard. Full headboard is license plates. Do you like that idea? Yeah. T, 73. 73? Mm -hmm. Keep, Keep it beautiful. beautiful. And so far... You've done a good job. Oh, what? Because I'm maintaining? Not that you're maintaining, because you're beautiful. Because the year you were born, keep it beautiful. Right on that brink, keeping it. Like, I'm right, no, like... you're not on the brink. I'm, no. like, fine now, and, like, a I year, I can just all be... I don't know why I even try to compliment you. I don't even know why I try to compliment you, because you like take that. it to that place. I know. Liam, will you keep the door open for us? We're coming through. Yeah. Finally! After buying all this stuff, I, I just hope there's room in the van for the kids. What? I'm kidding. We'll just strap you to the roof. What? Stop it. You're looking good, Mr. Bear. Do you think it tickles him when I spray him under the arm like this? Mm -hmm. Looks so good. What a cute Mom? bear. Mom? Yeah? Is there real bears here? Not right here. There's no bears here at the cottage. Does that make sense? You look good. Okay, we have to leave Bear to dry. So, we have your license plates. And then we're gonna go with the whole, like, car theme. Mom! Mom, yeah, instead of theme. cars, can I have monster trucks? How about anything that drives? Pickup trucks? Pickup trucks. A giant bus with a monster face? How did you know that I already DIY'd that for you? What? You did a giant bus with a monster face like this? <laughs> no. I love cars, Mom. Good, that's why we did this theme. This is so cute, Liam McDermott. I am very excited about this. It's the end of a really long day, but a mother's work is never done. I still gotta take care of our other kids. Oh no, the gate's open. Tom? Huh? Hello? What is going on? Hello? Hello? Tom? We've been living at the cottage now for almost six weeks, and Tori is still not 100% with the great outdoors. Hello? Hello? I'm not scared of the great outdoors. Just a little nervous. Hello? Oh, my God! Oh, my God, you guys! Oh, my God, this isn't funny! Just to, to initiate you into the cottage oh life. Gosh. I didn't think you'd buy it for a second. Look, <laughs> come on. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna kill you. Here you go, babe. You get to keep that as your trophy. Rawr. Now it's official. You're, you're a cottager. You know what? I actually have an idea for this. It's not scary, it's actually adorably cute, and it's for our bear. <laughs> you guys are crazy. I'm so mad at you. Don't be too mad. It was all in good fun. I know. Where's my quad go? It's in great hair. Some corner. All right, Makwa. It's your new home, buddy. He's super cute. 
Is it too much? No, I, I, I don't think you can have enough bears. The stencil, like, amazing. Babe, we did it. Four kids, three bedrooms, and only two nights sleeping in the same snorry farty room with the rest of the family. Looks good. Oh, <laughs> spin out. Yes, but I can't wait to hibernate with you in our own quiet bedroom. You like your room, Mama? Here's Heidi's tea, and then there's Daddy's tea. Cheers. 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 Enjoying the tea Cheers. party? Hey, Mama, do you want a cup of tea? Cheers. 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 Okay, you know what time I think it is? Tea time's over? It's time to go see Liam and Sally's room. Close your Atta eyes. Atta girl. Ready? One, two, three, go! Walk in. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Watch your head, Mama. Bobo, you want to come see the kitchen? Patty, no, come on, look okay. at Stella's kitchen. Check this out. Look at the wrenches for your, your shelf rack. Yeah, what do you this think? This is amazing. Let's start the music. Oh, yeah. Hit it, party people. Go, Lincoln. Oh, no. Cut the wood and hammer and a nail. And hammer and a nail. Let's pick a color. Ooh, ooh. Let's pick a color. Now you're talking. 